Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're going to do a family recipe and we're going to talk about sort of the intricacies of family recipes. Um, this is the Guide to Good Cooking, Five Roses Flour. This was my mother's and grandmother's cookbook and it lived at the cottage. And in the front, um, there are all kinds of handwritten pages of all of the pickles and jams and jellies and sauces um, that we would make every summer at the cottage. All of that sort of year-long cooking was done in the summertime um, in a place where, you know, it was a little bit cooler and we had a giant garden and all of the vegetables and everything were there. Today I want to do the barbecue sauce and that is this, uh, this handwritten recipe right here. Now the story that I get about this barbecue sauce is that it comes from my Aunt Joan. Um, my mom's sister, Joan, moves to the southern U.S. after college, university, stays in the southern U.S., settles down in Memphis, raises a family, they move to Arkansas. Family history. The story is that this barbecue sauce came from her in-laws, um, and it's the one we make every summer at the cottage, or, you know, did. Now I have to make it myself. When I decided today that I was going to make this recipe, I, I thought, you know what, I'm going, to, I'm going to text one of my cousins, I'm going to send him a picture of this recipe, and I'm going to ask him a little bit more of the background. And he, he texts back and says, I don't know. Um, I, I don't think that's the right recipe. Here's the recipe from my Grammy, his grandmother on, on the other side of the family, um, that ostensibly my Aunt Joan got the recipe from. They're different. They're a little bit different. And I don't know if... I don't know the full story about why they're different. Um, so today we're actually going to do the originator. This is my cousin's Grammy's recipe from Memphis, Tennessee. Um, I'll show you a picture there. That's the handwritten. That's my Aunt Joan's handwriting. She took down that recipe in 1962. How long it's been out there, who knows. But you can see um, there is a slight variation in the proportions of the ingredients. Mostly the same, but there are definitely some slight variations. Now in that pot I started out with tomato ketchup. I know that there's mixed opinions on starting a barbecue sauce with tomato ketchup. I'm fine with it. I, I really like this barbecue sauce, so I am fine with it. The recipe that we would make every summer started out with a seven pound can of ketchup, and that was a lot of ketchup. So I'm just going to rinse out the ketchup jugs with the vinegar. There we go. Put the lid back on. Give them a shake. And into the pot. And there's the rinsings from the second ketchup jar. The rest of the vinegar, I'm using apple cider today, but I've used apple cider or just regular white vinegar. Next in, sugar. Some roughly chopped up onion. Roughly chopped up lemon. Next in is some dry yellow mustard. Um, whichever brand you like. Next in, we've got cayenne and chili powder. Both of those go in. Also calls for um, some garlic chopped up. Now it's early spring here, it's still May, not quite the May 2-4 yet. And the garlic in our garden hasn't grown. Well, it's, it's sprouted, I mean it's green. It's one of the first things that comes up in the spring that's green. Um, but the bulbs haven't formed yet. I still pull it out and use it at this point in the year. I would rather have a uh, sort of unformed garlic, more like an, looks more like an onion, still has great garlic flavor, then use garlic that's stored from last summer or last fall's harvest. Um, but in fact, I have none of that left. So I've just got this fantastic flavor. Um, it's amazing. If you can get your hands on young garlic, give it a go. So next I need Worcester sauce. Let's see if I can pry this cap off because I despise trying to pour it out. Worcester sauce. So I need about half of this bottle. 
uh, so much easier without that shaker lid on it. Now I just stir this together, bring it all together, and I've got this on kind of a medium heat, and we'll let this simmer away for about four hours. It's super hot. If you're gonna put it into uh, canning jars, ball jars, mason jars, Bernardin jars, whatever you wanna call them, if you're gonna put them into Bernardin jars, um, pack it hot. Take it from here, strain it, pack it hot. I'm gonna put it back in the squeeze bottles that the ketchup came in, but there's going to be overflow, so it's gonna go into this glass jar. Because that's the case, I don't wanna put it in hot. So I'm gonna strain it while it's hot, and then once it cools down a little bit, I'll transfer it to the other jars. Okay, so I am really enjoying this mac pie, Glenn, but you clearly made some barbecue sauce. I can smell it, I can see it. What are we doing with that? Okay, so I didn't have the time to barbecue anything for the barbecue sauce. I know, but let's see. Should we start with a little spoon? No, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it on the mac pie. Oh, okay, I'm in. I'm in. Okay, so it's still warm. <laughs> why it squirted out That's so why quickly. It, squirted out. it is still warm from the pot. That's why it squirted out. Oh, so as it cools, it becomes it becomes thicker. Yeah. Okay, so that's way too much, but that's okay. It'll all fit. Maybe. There we go. Sure. This is interesting to me. In what way? So there's the recipe. There's the recipe that we've always made that I've been working with since I was a little kid that my mom and my grandmother made. Yeah, I'm on the back of the book. Yeah. And so when I talked to Brett today, he sent me the originals that came from his grandmother in Memphis. That, you know, his grandmother in Memphis gave to his mom, his mom, mm. my Aunt Joan, gave it to my grandmother. And as we were working through, it's basically the same ingredients, but slightly different ratios. And so I made his grandmother's today, but it's... It's a little, the ratios, because of the one I'm used to, it's slightly different. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit more bite to it. Yeah. It's like a little less sweet, I think, for lack of a better word. Like, I don't know if that's the right word. And uh, the, the one that my grandmother and my mother made had a whole lot more lemon in it. Mmm. Okay. And so there's that, that different lemon tang. And it's just the slight variation of the same ingredients, the same ingredient list, essentially. Just that slight variation changes it. Yes, but it's still a fabulous amazing, barbecue, amazing barbecue sauce. Amazing barbecue sauce. Okay, so, and it's great on macaroni <laughs> pie. All sorts of tomatoey things are good on ma mm. macaroni pie. You made a mess? I made a mess. Yeah, what are you going to do? I enjoyed myself doing it. So, <laughs> um, I will put all of the variations of this recipe at the end, including Brett's Aunt Trudy's. Oh, which he doesn't stand behind. He says he's never made it. <laughs> but is it the same same it's, set it's, of ingredients? It's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. Okay, but so so, <laughs> so I'll put that up as well. And it's going to take us a while to use all this though. Yeah. So we may have to wait for us to make it at Trudy's. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.